Hey everyone, I'm going to show you today how to uh, update uh, the analog pocket using the updater utility. Uh, all we need is uh, three things. We need a micro USB uh, card. So I use a 128 gig uh, micro USB card uh, and uh, I need a USB um, uh, adapter. So this uh, micro USB adapter has a slot here that we can use for it. And I need it because I'm using a Mac computer which doesn't have a slot for the micro USB card. And of course we need the um, uh, analog pocket which has this slot here where the micro USB card can go. So um, hang on and I'm going to show you how to do this process. In case you're wondering which updater uh, you want to use for your analog pocket, well, I recommend this one. It's called Pocket Updater Utility. It's very stable and uh, robust. Uh, it's built by someone in the community. I believe it's Matt Panella. And uh, this is his uh, GitHub page. And this is where you need to go uh, to download the zip file for your specific operating system. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of... Uh, information on this page and uh, here you see how to uh, um, all the options that you can use for running the updater but i'm going to go through that and i'll show you exactly how to do it uh, in this video i uh, just wanted to show you that um, uh, this is one of the better ones that i found if you search you will find others but i like this one because it's lightweight it's simple it doesn't take a lot of space because i'm going to um, install it on a micro USB card and I want to use most of the space there for my um, actual games. I don't want to um, uh, have to use a lot of uh, overhead for fancy uh, uh, UIs or anything like that. So this is the one that I recommend and um, uh, one more thing and if you're in case you're wondering analog does not make these updater utilities itself. So they rely on uh, their vast community of developers to build uh, those uh, updaters. And uh, until now, they haven't done an official one. So this is the one that I recommend, and uh, you will see the link uh, below the video. So now I'm going to show you how this process works. So first of all, we need to go um, to um, this link here on GitHub, which contains uh, the different versions of the updater uh, utility. So here you can we can see that uh, it's available for different OS systems. Uh, I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to download uh, the Mac zip file, which I've already done. And here we see it's up. Uh, it's downloaded directly on my micro USB. And the reason for that is I want to unpack it uh, on my micro USB and do all the subsequent updates directly from. Uh, the micro USB because I want to avoid having to copy and paste files because I might forget stuff and it may cause some problems. So this way I know that uh, everything is done correctly in the correct place. So to unpack this, I just need to uh, uh, double click on it. Um, so we see here that it just unpacked the pocket updater. So to run this uh, on a Windows, I think you can just double click on it and it's going to work. Uh, on a Mac, you need to uh, press and hold the control key and then click on the file and do open. And uh, I believe it's going to give you a warning uh, first that you're opening a file downloaded from the internet. So yeah, just say yes, open. And uh, we see here that it unpacked the file and then it ran the utility. So it's going to ask you if you want to continue and install the new cores. And of course we want to do that. So I'm going to say yes. And here we see that uh, uh, we go to the menu. Uh, so the menu is text-based and you can uh, go up and down, select the different options. You can explore all these options on your own. For example, if you want to update only the firmware, you can do that. But what I'm going to do here, especially because this is the first time I'm going to do update all, and what this will do is, is it will just install everything. So press zero and um, uh, the process just kicks off. And we can actually see that uh, the files here are getting uh, uh, updated as this thing is running. Um, you can follow along and see how um, you get the different folders and files added to your micro USB, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, now, this process will take about uh, half an hour to 45 minutes. So I'm just going to pause this video and then continue when uh, the process has completed and we'll go to the next step. So the process has completed successfully, as we can see from here. Uh, the log just stops scrolling, and then you see the, uh, the message that says new firmware was downloaded. Restart your pocket to install pocket firmware one underscore one dot bin. Uh, you can view a full log of what has been installed uh, if you scroll up. So that's for your own pleasure. And we can see here that all the folders and files have been added to our micro USB card. Uh, for example, if we click on platforms, we see that all these uh, files have been added. Um, assets. So we have a lot of things here added. Uh, the next step is going to be installing uh, this on the pocket and see what that looks like. But before I do that, now that this is finished, if you just click enter, you see that it takes you back to the main menu. So all I'm going to do here is uh, select eight to exit. And now I see that the process is completed and uh, it's done basically. So I can just close this window. And um, that's basically it. Uh, we can now eject the micro USB card and uh, install it on uh, the pocket system. One quick thing I want to show you also is that um, if you look at the file size here uh, on the micro USB, we see that we're, we've only used up 3.24 gigs to download everything. So 128 gigs for the micro USB card is really a lot more than what we need. But uh, since this doesn't, this updater doesn't really download all the ROMs for all the other systems that are playable on the uh, analog pocket, you probably need this extra space because uh, you're going to have to find and download uh, the other ROMs uh, one by one, basically. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, it's uh, 128 is really a lot, uh, a lot of uh, uh, memory, and it's going to uh, really last you for a while. So now that uh, the updater has installed all the files on the micro SD card, I'm going to remove it and um, install it in my analog pocket. So you just need to add it to the slot, and then. Turn on my uh, analog pocket. And we're going to go straight to the open FPGA option and to the arcade where we actually see all the games that have been installed automatically by the updater. So, um, just as an example, let's pick one of the uh, games here. Uh, classic is Ghosts and Goblins that has been uh, installed. And uh, nice, uh, we see the actual arcade machine booting up, and this tells me that this is real hardware emulation. Nice, it's working like a charm. All right, so now let's see what else has been installed on uh, uh, on this using uh, the updater. So we see here there's an option called uh, Arcade Multi, and this one has four different arcade systems, Capcom, uh, CPS1 and CPS2, and Sega System 16A and 16B and the Tato system. So if we go, for example, let's just pick one, uh, the Sega System 16A. Uh, um, one of the games I like here is uh, Shinobi, which is one of my favorites. And it works. All right. 
to uh, go back and show you what else has been installed. So if we go here to the consoles uh, menu item, we see that there's all these consoles that have been installed by the updater. But the difference is that uh, there's no games that have been uh, installed or no ROMs. So for example, if I go to the Sega Master System and I click on that, I and I run it, I see that there's nothing that has been installed here. So this is the difference. The updater is only going to install um, the arcade and the multi-arcade uh, options. And uh, those will come packed with the uh, games. And every time you run the updater, uh, it will just keep adding games that have been released publicly to those two systems. For the rest, you have to go and find the games uh, um, uh, separately and uh, download them in the right folder and uh, I can probably shoot another video showing you how to do that but for now um, you have uh, if you just do this you have hundreds of games to uh, play on your uh, uh, analog pocket so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you have really other questions just uh, ask me in the comments and uh, I will happily answer any question uh, you have on this process or um, anything related to it Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.